Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by SanDisk and the iXpand wireless charger sync. Now, the iXpand is more than just a wireless charger. This is the world's first wireless charger that automatically backs up at full resolution all of your videos and photos, and it also backs up all of your contacts by simply just placing your phone onto the charger. It also supports fast wireless charging and it works on iPhone, Android, or any Qi compatible device. You can also create multiple profiles to back up individually so you can share this charger with anyone across the family so no more running out of space. And you can check out their intuitive application which allows you to free up more space on your phone. So what are you waiting for? Check out the iXpand fast wireless charger by SanDisk. Links will be in the description down below. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my personal tips and directions recommendations to create more storage and free up storage on your iOS device. These are going to be personal tips that I personally use, especially on my 64 gigabyte devices. Now, the first thing I always recommend is going through your apps and deleting any app that you never use. Sometimes we download applications on our iPhones, they sit there, they take up storage, and we never use them. There's also pre-installed application. This is Apple software right here. These are going to be the keynote, numbers, pages, clips, podcasts. These apps are on the home screen of iPhone when you first purchase an iPhone but you may not be using all of them. And one common mistake that I usually see is that users will put it in a folder somewhere and then just let them sit there because they never use them. You actually have the ability to delete these applications from the home screen and create more storage on your iPhone if you don't use these applications that are preloaded. Now keep in mind, you can always go back into the App Store, go ahead and search for Apple, and you'll see that you can download these applications right back onto your iOS device. So for the meantime, you can delete any unwanted application or pre-installed software on your iPhone in order to create more storage back onto your iOS device. So very simple tip, but something that users forget to do. Now, something that also users forget to do is to empty out the recently deleted and photos and videos. So if we go to the photos application here at the bottom, we have albums. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, you have your recently deleted. So if you deleted a video or a photo, it goes here. So that means it's still on your iPhone, it's still taking up space on your iPhone. Very similar to computers, when you delete something, it goes to the trash. Well, this is pretty much the trash can here for the Photos app. Just go into that and then click select and then delete all. And this will delete every single video, photo, or anything you've deleted in photos and give you all that storage back onto your iPhone. Believe it or not, most users forget to do this and that takes up a lot of storage from your iOS device, believe it or not. Now, let's go into messages because believe it or not, the messages do take up storage on your iPhone, especially if you have a lot of photos and videos, attachments inside of a message thread. So you can go ahead and browse through all of your message threads and just delete by swiping to the left any message that you no longer need. You can save the attachments to an external hard drive or something like that and just simply gain that storage back onto your iPhone. Just delete as many messages or message threats that you may have to or want to. So let's jump into the settings here and let me show you an option that breaks everything down. So if we go to general here and we go to iPhone storage, this breaks everything down. This tells you which apps are taking the most storage and what you can do in order to retain and get more space back on your iPhone by clicking on show all. So show all here what gives us additional options for uploading applications when you don't need them automatically we also have personal recommendations of videos and photos that you can delete from the photos application if you no longer need them these are taking up two and a half gigs as you can see there and also recent large attachments within the actual messages application which you can also delete by swiping to the left if you no longer need those attachments you can delete those photos or whatever it is and down here is a full breakdown this tells you everything that's taken up the storage in terms of application. The podcast application is preloaded onto the iPhone. It's taking about two and a half gigs. If you don't use it, simply delete it from the home screen. And there you go. You have two and a half gigs right away just by simply deleting the podcast application from your iPhone just like so. So recommendations are here inside of the iPhone storage option, which gives you the ability to upload applications, delete any videos and photos, of course, attachments and unwanted applications from the home screen. And don't forget to delete that recently deleted folder inside of the actual photos applications. And there you guys have it. Those are my personal tips and recommendations. These are very, very simple, but yet very useful. And some users do forget that they can do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.